Animal migrations are one of nature's most spectacular events. At any given time of the year, billions of animals swim, fly, or run across the planet to fulfill their life cycles. Many cross international boundaries, and while on the move, they connect ecosystems, countries, and cultures. But due to human threats along their migratory pathways, they are often at severe risk, leading to possible extinction and undermining the well-being of human communities that depend on them. The Convention on Migratory Species, an international treaty affiliated with the United Nations, aims to eliminate those threats. The United Arab Emirates has consistently demonstrated its leadership internationally to conserve biodiversity, which can be traced back to the UAE's founder, late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. He had a strong conservation ethic and love for wild animals. Coupled with the vision to work not only within the country, but internationally to achieve conservation goals. We are so proud that UAE has been at the front of such a response, which is making a difference on the ground for many of the threatened species. On behalf of the United Arab Emirates government, we have hosted the Convention on Migratory Species Abu Dhabi office since 2009. Owing to the leadership of Environment Agency Abu Dhabi, on behalf of the government of the United Arab Emirates, the Convention and EAD partnered in 2009 to establish the Convention on Migratory Species, Office Abu Dhabi, focusing on two groups of migratory species, dugongs and African Eurasian raptors. From Abu Dhabi, we coordinate the CMS Raptors MOU and the CMS Dugongs MOU, two international agreements under the Convention's framework and our partnership with EAD has enabled us to work with 131 countries to conserve 93 species of African Eurasian birds of prey and 46 countries to conserve the dugong and its seagrass habitats. Migratory species connect Abu Dhabi to the rest of the world. Our sooty falcon has gone to Madagascar. Our flamingos, which you see here in the background, they go all the way down northern part of the Kazakhstan. There are some birds which have gone down to India. So there are birds which are connecting UAE to the rest of the world. And I think it's a fine example that this convention provides, you know, connecting people, connecting, you know, species and connecting habitats. To conserve 93 species of raptors across 131 countries, 42 species of which visit the UAE annually. The United Kingdom collaborated with the UAE to develop the Raptors MOU in 2008. The very idea of supporting the CMS unit and more particularly the Raptor MOU is in line with the commitment that UAE has not only for species conservation locally but also for species conservation at the global level. Establishing a Saker Falcon Class Force to lead the development over a period of three years of a global action plan for the species. Working with 128 range states to create a multi-species action plan for African Eurasian vultures. Publishing detailed guidance to support the now 60 countries that have signed the CMS Raptors MOU to develop their own raptor conservation strategies. The UAE shares the world's second largest dugong population with three other countries in the Arabian Gulf. Working together with Thailand and Australia, the UAE helped to develop a CMS international agreement, the Dugong MOU, catering to this peaceful marine mammal and its seagrass habitats found in 46 countries. Alongside CMS, we have been able to review and revise our aerial study for the dugong monitoring program. In addition to that, we have added the genetics component to our current studies, and we have included a migration study using satellite telemetry. In the Western Indian Ocean region, we are the only country which has got long-term research plan with advanced methods. Through CMS, we've developed a seagrass and dugong toolkit that allowed the range states to expand their research. The Global Environment Fund for Dugong and Seagrass Research, that's a project developed by CMS at EAD. And this project brought together eight countries and implemented 43 projects covering areas of dugong research, seagrass research, and community research. Our relationship with EAD has enabled us to leverage over 12 million additional dollars to conserve dugongs and seagrasses in a number of developing countries. In the near future and with the support of CMS, we are hoping to conduct a number of workshops on seagrass and dugongs. We will be including components like behavior studies 
with the support of the CMS technical group. UAE's decision to come and support this agreement and host the CMS unit comes from the fact that it has undertaken long-term migration studies on important species, whether it's Hubara or Greater Flamingos or uh, the Greater Spotted Eagle, Marsh Harrier. The unit and the Raptor MOU in particular has benefited both EAD as well as the global conservation community. Without the immense and long-standing support of Environment Agency Abu Dhabi on behalf of the Government of the United Arab Emirates, the coordinating unit would have simply been unable to deliver many of its key achievements over the last 10 years or so. The Convention on Migratory Species Office Abu Dhabi, established in 2009, and operating ever since from the United Arab Emirates with the sustained support of the Environment Agency Abu Dhabi, works to conserve dugongs, African Eurasian raptors, and other migratory species of regional importance, and promotes the well-being of the human communities that share these animals throughout their journeys to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. With the threat to migratory animals growing every day, the work of the Convention of Migratory Species Office Abu Dhabi is needed now more than ever before.